senior lecturer in international relations and Middle East studies at the Australian National uh, University. Alam, thank you very much for your time. What do you make of this statement from the Israeli army? Well, uh, Israel is uh, under tremendous amount of uh, pressure internally, regionally and internationally uh, due to the uh, ongoing uh, and uh, prolonged Gaza war. Uh, and uh, Hezbollah wants to, to put Israel under even more pressure by uh, containing yet managing the confrontation in its northern borders. Um, and that therefore uh, the, the, the issue between Hezbollah and Israel will not be resolved unless the, 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 the Gaza war ends first and the Palestinian issue will be resolved uh, uh, in, in the long term. And, uh, and, uh, and the, the diplomatic kind of uh, uh, negotiations between all actors in the region uh, should and should lead into a, a long and uh, standing uh, uh, peace between between the, the the several actors involved in this regional war. It's not only Hezbollah, of course, there are many other uh, uh, armed militias, uh, Iran-backed militias in, in Yemen, in, in Iraq, and even in Syria that are ready to, to, to escalate the war against Israel if it continues its ongoing uh, war against Palestine and ignores international law and ignores any other diplomatic kind of solutions uh, suggested by the Western um, uh, actors and the regional actors. And if this does indeed escalate, uh, Alam, can Israel afford to be fighting a war on two fronts? Um, well, the, the 2006 uh, uh, war between Israel and Hezbollah uh, showed that uh, Israel cannot defeat Hezbollah, uh, particularly now when uh, Hezbollah is much more powerful uh, and supplied by advanced weapons from Iran, uh, and also it's, it's supported by other militia, uh, Shia militia in Yemen and in and also in Iraq and in Syria. Uh, his, Israel is under tremendous pressure because of the Gaza war, economically, politically, security, military-wise, uh, 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 Israel is 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 facing a, a, a big tr trouble, uh, and therefore it cannot afford any further uh, kind of a full-scale war in in its borders. Uh, it's surrendered by Hamas, by Hezbollah, uh, and uh, other Sh Shia militia in the region that are ready to uh, put even more pressure on Israel. You mentioned Hezbollah's capabilities there, Alam. Just how different is fighting Hezbollah to uh, fighting Hamas? They have a very different military capability, don't they? And they've been demonstrating their capabilities in recent weeks. Well, uh, first, the first thing is is that Hezbollah is located in a in, a, in an independent country, and uh, that is a member of U United Nations. So it's not a Gaza uh, uh, and Hamas. Uh, uh, as a as a region. Uh, secondly, uh, Hezbollah can be supplied uh, in the long term for many months or years uh, uh, by Iran and Syria and other uh, allies and uh, in the region. Uh, unlike has, uh, Hamas in in Gaza, which they have no connection to to the outside war, a world. Uh, and, and thirdly, Hezbollah is sophisticated. They have a sophisticated advanced weapons uh, and also uh, intelligence. We have seen today that the, the, the Hezbollah drones were able to, to monitor the, the whole entire city of Haifa and the military bases uh, and, the, and the port. And that shows that Hezbollah is, is, is strengthening its military power, its intelligence power, and is, is much more dangerous than ever to Israel's security. Alam, thank you very much for your time. Alam uh, Saleh speaking to us uh, live there from Leeds here in the UK.